We're going up a pretty sizable hill here. We're running like two of five bars. It starts losing some power. All right, people. We're looking at the Yadea, Y-A-D-E-A, KS6 Pro. This is a 500 watt electric scooter. 500 watt in the rear hub there. It has um, mechanical disc brake in the back and a front drum brake. It has suspension forks, which are really nice. Uh, they give you some nice cushion. I don't know if you can tell, but they give you some nice cushion. Um, the scooter does fold. So you got this mechanism here. And then it uh, locks right there like that. And so you can very easily pick it up and carry it. You know, and it's not that heavy. Um, about 50 pounds. And then this snaps right back into place. Nice kickstand. Has um, uh, reflectors on either side. There are um, lights, so it has a headlight. So I didn't have it on, no. So, real nice display actually, nice colorful display. I don't know if you can tell. Um, gives you the battery, the speed. It has three different levels uh, as far as power, and it gives you those different levels. So, a low, a medium, and a high. And then you double click, and you get a light. It's got a rear, rear light that goes on when you hit the brake. And, um, it has thumb throttle. The, um, the motor's 500 watt. They rated it 800 watt. Um, it doesn't have tremendous torque. So, um, yeah, I mean, 800 watts seems a little high to me. I I'd say more like 700, but regardless, you know, it's, it's got some nice enough pickup to get you going. It can definitely take you up hills. Um, it's definitely a smooth ride. The suspension is really nice. And um, it has 10 inch uh, tires that have um, self, they're tubeless and they're self healing. And then it has two handbrakes. You got, uh, it has a 36 volt, 15 amp hour battery. It's got a fun little bell. And it's just a nice looking scooter you know all the cabling's internal um really nice sleek gray gray and black um i like the uh the the, the neck here how it's like a nice right angle and it's squared it just like gives it some nice nice uh styling to it Very easy to lift the front up if you want to go over a bump, you know, over a curb, that kind of thing. I just had to go off this little path and uh, I wanted to make sure there was a smooth transition to the grass and I lifted up the front and it was nice and easy. Wow, okay. Thank God for the helmet. See what I mean? I can easily lift up the front. And uh, it's just nice when you come back down, you feel the suspension. So this scooter is pretty ideal, I would think, for just about any age. Um, it can handle a person my size, and it can certainly handle somebody much smaller. And the handlebar isn't high enough that you couldn't easily handle, you'd easily ride this at like 5'2". You could, you know? So it's pretty much any, any size. Um, you could probably go up to like 6'4", six, 6'6", six, six on this thing and not be uncomfortable. Not so anybody any age, um, you can very easily fold it down and put it in the back of a car. Again, upwards of 50 pounds. So it's a little heavy for, you know, like a senior or a kid, but uh, you know, anybody of a physically capable age could very easily put this in the back of their car, in their trunk, in the front seat, in the back seat, you know what I mean? Are we gonna really try this? They used to have like some homeless people back here and it was like a, an encampment. And I've been back here on many other vehicles we'll try it on this thank god people not wise i gotta be really careful like looking ahead like 30 feet 
so I know which I'm going to be hitting. Because this thing, you know, again, not meant for off-road. Look at somebody put a freaking ramp here. It's not meant for off-road, but it's got, um, and it's got 10-inch tires. So it's like, it's handling stuff, but if I had like a nice twig that's not moving or a nice piece of rock or something, I'm flying off this thing, people. You know what I mean? It's bye-bye. So I've got to be real freaking careful in that regard. But one time I came back here on a on a on a e-bike, right over here was a guy with a like one of the people one of the people that lived here, and he had his dog. And the dog's name was Chopper, and he said, "Chopper, sick balls!" And that thing just came running at me and it scared the living bejesus out of me. So let that be a lesson to you: not to ride where there's a dog named Chopper. Don't ride a scooter, an e-bike, anything when you see a dog named Chopper. Chopper is not a good name for a dog when you're a passing by. You know what I mean? If you're an owner, it's probably pretty cool. If you're a passerby, not so much. You know what I mean? Anyway, are you guys seeing this? Like, I shouldn't be doing this, but I am. And it's pretty crazy. They used to have all kinds of um, graffiti on the right here. And they just painted over it. So that's interesting. But so far, so good, people. And we're kind of running out of real estate here. I don't remember there being this. I don't remember there being it being hard to get through. But we're still going. Let's see what else there is. Alright, yeah. This goes used to go all the way through to the street. I don't think it goes through anymore, but yeah, there were all these people with these encampments back here. And I always used to say, you know, God bless them for finding a place, you know. I guess the city didn't like it and told them all to leave. And they cleaned it up and they freaking got rid of the graffiti. So, I don't know. Hopefully they found a place to go. So, yeah, is this wise? No. Am I about ready to fall off at any moment? Probably. You know, now I'm going through leaves and dirt. You know, this is not why. I think there'd be so much shit under here. I have no freaking clue. Look at this. Got a swamp to my left. Anyway. See, like that right there was a bit much for this. Scooter, or uh, hill-wise, it was a quick, like, six to eight percent gray with not a lot of momentum, and that's that kind of challenges this thing, okay? But yeah, I'm not feeling a lot of the bumps, people. It seems that I've, I haven't ridden tons of e-scooters. This is my fourth, but it seems that you know, you don't feel much in the back. It's all in the front. So I've ridden a scooter with no suspension, one with this one with front suspension and one with full suspension. I've ridden the uh, the Yadea Elite Prime. That's the sister scooter to this one. A little bit more expensive, a little bit faster, and uh, has um, full suspension. And while the full suspension is tremendous and I would never sell it short, I don't know that it's 100% necessary. You know, front suspension is doing me just fine. You know, the one thing I have noticed is that when the battery goes down, right now I'm in battery level, or I'm in like two of five bars, it starts losing some power. So I can't go 19 miles an hour anymore. I'm only hitting maybe 13 miles an hour. Let's see. This is a flat straightaway. Yeah, I'm losing acceleration <clears throat> and I'm losing top speed. See what kind of top speed I can get now. This is a flat straightaway. 16, 16, 17, 17, 18. Okay, it hit 19, but oh boy, did it take a long time to get there. You're definitely losing some thrust. You're losing some torque.